What's good? Coming at y'all with another video. If normally you tune into my channel for the music production topics, today is something different. Um, I'm actually going to be discussing the recent surgery I had to repair an inequal hernia in the left, kind of left groin area. I know when I went in a month ago, I was kind of doing research all over the internet, checking out videos on YouTube as well. And what I noticed around that time was there was not a whole lot of like recent content. Everything that I saw was maybe from four or five, six years ago or beyond. And uh, I just wanted to make this because maybe there's someone who's on the fence about getting the surgery. Maybe uh, you're about to have the surgery shortly and you just wanted to find someone who went through it before you. That's the reason I made this video. Now, the last time I did a video, it was actually a week after I got the surgery. It was still a whole lot of pain that I was going through at that time. And I was able to walk, but I walked with a limp because there was pain in that groin area where they had to apply the mesh. And uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with that type of surgery, uh, you could actually do it two ways. You could do it either the open procedure, which is going to be going in from the outside uh, over the hernia and applying the mesh that way. And then you have the laroscopic way, which they apply three small incisions on your stomach and they go through that way to repair the hernia um, on whatever side it's on, or if you have it both, you know, however it is. I had the laroscopic surgery and there was a lot of pain, of course, in that area and also in the stomach because of course, when they, they uh, make those incisions in the stomach and they go in, they also have to blow it up with this gas, which can also like affect the shoulders and just my stomach still isn't fully healed that's gonna be a couple of months out in fact um i can compare it to a month ago i am a little bit able now to you know turn in different directions i could still bend forward uh not all the way in terms of like if i'm standing and i try to touch my feet i can't do that as of yet so like when i have to tie shoes I have to put it on this ottoman and then I'm able to tie my shoes that way. I will also say that even though my stomach isn't fully healed as of yet, it feels a lot better than it did, of course, after I had the surgery. Um, now, I started to walk better, I would say probably about two and a half weeks in. Um, I was able to walk without a limp and I just went back to work last Tuesday, this is actually Friday, and uh, I went to work on Tuesday. Now I work in kind of like a retail environment. So uh, normally I'm standing for pretty much the entire like eight hours or whatever it is that I'm working that day. Uh, but I kind of am being eased back into working. So they had me do a lot of training where I was sitting down in the back for pretty much the entire shift. Now, yesterday, I ended up going out on the floor for about an hour, hour and a half or so, and I felt okay. Of course, you know, tomorrow is gonna be the first full day that I'm out there. We'll see. Um, I probably am going to be a little tired initially. I know just from waking up early in the morning some days, um, and then, like yesterday, just being on the floor a little while, um, even though I felt okay, I'm still, I guess, kind of feeling a little bit fatigued just from, you know, it's kind of different going from sitting at home for a whole month to uh, getting out and going to work. And uh, even though I'm sitting down, what I would also try to do like in between on my breaks is go walk around the whole mall and uh, just, it's 15 minutes, so, in about 15 minutes, I can pretty much get a little bit more than a half of a mile. And uh, when I do that twice during the day, I get my full mile, maybe a little bit more. And I mean, normally at home when I do walk or if I'm in the gym, I can go anywhere from one to two, maybe even three miles, depending on the day. Um, and that's what I've been kind of doing because obviously they tell you not to lift weights right off the bat. 
uh, within that first couple of weeks. I think it's like 25 pounds you can't lift. And then uh, I know like I probably won't live for at least a couple of months. And then when I do go back to lifting, it's going to be uh, light weights with higher reps uh, rather than heavy weights with low reps. I'm going to try more so to get stronger, but go to the lean side. So um, I want to get a little bit more leaner and, you know, just cut some weight as well, just to feel a little bit more healthier. Outside of that, I will also say there's not as much pain as there was obviously in the first week or two um, that I had the hernia surgery. Though right now, you know, every now and then I may feel something and then it more so still feels um, kind of tight. There's a little bit of swelling uh, down in the area where they uh, kind of applied the mesh, but the doctor said that is going to go away with time. I actually had a follow-up appointment about two weeks after I had the surgery. I had the surgery initially on February the 7th and I had my follow-up, my first follow-up appointment on February 20th. And I actually am going to go for my second follow-up on the 20th of this month, March 20th, which is next week. But I feel that I'm making good progress getting stronger every day. This is not something that's gonna change overnight. So, you know, if you're out there, maybe you just had the surgery, please follow the directions from the doctor. Don't lift over 25 pounds um, until they authorize you to lift that amount and um, continue to walk, do a lot of walking and maybe some light stretches. You don't, you know, everybody heals a little bit different. So, you know, you may have a little bit of pain kind of like in the incision areas, similar to what I have. And, um, you know, you gotta watch how you stretch. You definitely don't want to hurt yourself. I can remember like those first couple of weeks. In fact, it was so bad. You never know how much you use your abs on a day-to-day -day basis. Just getting up, sitting down, even when you're laying down in bed, trying to get out of bed. Um, and then everything else in between, uh, you might turn a little bit, you know, just depending on what you're doing, uh, that day and you may feel some pain when you do so. So, um, that is something definitely get your rest and I'm still making strides. I'm not quite running as of yet. Uh, I'm gonna actually talk to my doctor about that when I go in next week to see if I'd like to get back to, uh, possibly running. I don't know. It just... It feels a little tight again in that area. So I don't want to make this a long drawn out video. Have you had hernia surgery before? Or are you someone that is considering getting the surgery very soon? If you're concerned about the surgery, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it. Again, I had the laparoscopic surgery, so I can give you some insight on that. I've never had the open, obviously, uh, so I can't really speak much on that. If any of you are music production enthusiasts and you wanna go ahead and subscribe to my channel, I like to pose me making beats as well as talking about some of the gear that I use, plugins, expansions, software, and more. Uh, go ahead again hit the subscribe button and also if you like this video go ahead hit the like button thank you for tuning in i hope i was able to provide some insight on my experience getting the inguinal hernia procedure and again this is the one month video so if you want to see that one week video you could actually check the link in the comments and then until next time i'm out